is having a good day getting ready for Thanksgiving tomorrow. Hi, Miss Carla. Welcome in, everybody. I'm trying multicasting to YouTube again. Hopefully, it will behave and won't go black on us this time. So, there are some items that are cataloged, and I have a ton that are not. So, if you're looking for anything in particular, let me know. Um, I do have some gorgeous uh, rhinestone brooches if you haven't seen them. I'll go ahead and show you guys them. Um, I've got this gorgeous Juliana, which is absolutely spectacular and matches my nails. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you for your purchase. This is a gorgeous Ray Jack Navajo. This one is a $250 start, but, uh, if I listed it, I'd be at $750 to $1,000. So it's about $500 off of where I would list it. So $250 start on this gorgeous inlaid Navajo Ray Jack. I'm going to set some of these up there. Mermaid, if you guys have not seen this, this is an amazing carved bone mermaid with jade giant pendant or you could hang it on a brooch it is hallmarked and signed this one is a 250 dollars start and then we've got this juliana for a 75 dollars start this one is missing the pen but other than that it is in great condition it's another juliana so if you see anything you're interested in, let me know. Oh, so I'm wearing this ring. This is a size 11 if you need a gift or for yourself. Beautiful old pawn, Navajo. And this one would be a $100 start. It is a lot of sterling and it is absolutely gorgeous. Feels a little heavy on my hand. I was going to keep it, but um, I'll, I'll wear it for demonstration but i will sell it another beautiful juliana with matching earrings victorian glass check this one out this is one of my favorites there's that one and if you're a seller coming in please share what you sell and when your next show is this one's cool because the clasp is actually here on the pendant in the front which is really neat I've just recently had a couple that were like that. There's that one. Hello, GK. This is an antique rock crystal. The glass starting bid is a hundred. I think I was doing 150, but I'll do a hundred. Gorgeous Victorian rock glass. This one I could do like a $30 start on. This is all sterling. And I'm going to run the cataloged ones first. Um, we'll see how that goes. But if you're interested in anything, I have pendants, necklaces, bracelets, rings, all sterling silver. Um, I do have... Some Joan Rivers pieces. This is a gorgeous Marvella. We got about 30 seconds, so make sure you're in the giveaway. It is for this beautiful diamond cut herringbone sterling bracelet. And then we will start. I don't think, I think I told, yes, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Nine seconds. Hello, Melly Bell. Welcome in. 
If you're watching on YouTube, in order to bid or enter the giveaways, you do have to come over to whatnot. Well, this one is drawing, but you can only enter it. Um, Meyer Way takes it. You can only enter from the phone or a tablet. You cannot enter from the computer. So if you're on the computer, it would not show you a way to enter. So that could possibly be why you're not seeing it. All right. So this one is a really, really thick vintage tax co all sterling silver clasp works great it is hallmark there's your tax co signature you should be able to miss genie you can i think you can bid from the computer this one we are going to start at 30 this is that's below melt weight this is a gorgeous thick sterling square bangle um, one of them is a lot bigger, classic car girl. One of them is a lot bigger. This one is the more petite. The other one is uh, wider. So this one will start at $30 for 15 seconds. It's a tax co, Miss Jeannie. This one is a tax co. There's your T5. It's from 1979, tax co. Three, two, classic car girl in the lead. Now tan. Um, Aunt Roberta was going to try and catalog the whole show for us, but then she had to start getting ready for Thanksgiving. So only a bit of the show is cataloged. And then I'll run Freestyle. Freestyle Wild Wild West. Classic car girl. Congrats. Thank you so much. Beautiful buy. Up next, we have got another bracelet. Whoa, hold on. It's not supposed to be 175. It's just supposed to be 75. Let me let me let me edit that one. This is a Guatemalan turquoise. Hold on, let me fix that. 75. Save. Okay. Does it say now? Yes. I have not cooked in about nine years. Um, so I no, I am not cooking. I will go to Aunt Roberta's house. <laughs> they are all there now. I am home. I like a little bit of quiet sometimes. I don't get it very often. So Dalton is down there with Brad. So this is Guatemalan turquoise. It is signed Guatemala. And this one, we will start at 75 for 15 seconds. I used to know how to cook. I don't know if I would know how to cook anymore because it's been so long. I think I could figure it out, but it has been a very long time since I've cooked, since Brad and I got together. Quite a while. Up next, let me find it, since Whatnot doesn't know how to put things in order. This one is one of my favorites. This one is a sterling silver and jasper. And they are all real gemstones. There's your sterling connectors as well as sterling beads throughout. Really, really pretty. This one is a 30 inch, 30 inch sterling and jasper. We're going to start this one at $40 for 15 seconds. Who all is cooking tomorrow for Thanksgiving? Am I the only one not cooking? Is anybody else not? cooking. I think, Marcia, didn't you say you're having steaks? I think I remember seeing that. Oh, GK doesn't cook. All right, let's do this next one. Where's my ring holder? Guys, this is a J King. Sign J. King Turquoise Ring. Your DTR for Desert Rose Trading. 
J King size 10. Beautiful, beautiful J King ring. This would make a good middle finger ring. So it is a signed J King size 10. It is sterling, so it could be sized. This one, we will start at 30 for 15 seconds. J King turquoise and sterling silver. Tan in the lead. Hi, Miss Dub. You got it, Tan. Great buy on that one. Thank you. Up next is another ring. I should have just left our ring holder there. This is a gorgeous Art Deco Victorian style, size seven and a half, Marcasite and Sterling. Beautiful, beautiful ring. It is hallmarked with 925. You're so welcome. That was a great buy. This one we're going to start at 20 for 15 seconds. Hi, Miss Barbara. How are you doing, my friend? What are you doing for Thanksgiving tomorrow? Up next, this is size six and a half. This one, Aunt Roberta put amethyst. It is not. It is Zoizide, and I was starting it at 40, and I dropped it to $20 start. This is a ton of sterling silver and a gorgeous Zoizide. Size six and a half, easily sized. You could go up to a nine or a 10 on this pretty easily. Um, I don't know what you, I have a Cat's Treasure Hunting YouTube channel. My name is Cat. Um, but pretty much most people know me as a nurse slipper. This one, size six and a half, we're going to start at 20 for 15 seconds. Oh, easily. Yes, Miss Sheila, you could get it sized down as well. Yes. Oh, no, you're fine. I just didn't know what you, what you meant. Oh, hubby's got to work. That sucks. I hate to hear that. I'm sorry about that. Up next is going to be a beautiful sterling rope chain. This one is 16 inches. I've got like rust all over my hands from something I was going through. This one, we're going to start at 10 for 15 seconds. I believe this is an Italian chain. Brad is down at his aunt's house now. Oh, no. I have cat at thenurseflipper.com and thenurseflipper at yahoo.com. Andrea, you got it. Thank you, thank you. Um, up next. And again, if you want like rings, bracelets, necklaces, brooches, tell me, because I have trays beside me as well. So Aunt Roberta did catalog a few things, but I also have a lot of other stuff as well. Look at this one. This one is an old pawn, Navajo, sterling silver cuff. And this one, we're going to start at 75 for 15 seconds. Miss Andrea in the lead. You got it. Great buy on that one. Thank you so much. Up next. Ooh, this is the other one. So you guys saw that I had to. I know. See, I was thinking that with this one, but... um. 
uh, the weight just feels so heavy on my finger. I might get used to it though. I don't know. So this one's starting it a little more because it's a lot more sterling. Look at this one. This one, Trish. Or the bracelet. Uh, 11 and a quarter. 11 and a quarter. It is Navajo Old Pawn Sterling. $100 start on that one. So this, I believe, is another sign tax co. Yes. Another sign tax co. This one's about three times as wide as that first one that we ran. All Sterling Silver will polish up beautiful, I'm sure. There's your tax co in the back. This one will start at 50 for 15 seconds. I love her. Yes, it is absolutely beautiful. It just feels a little bit heavy on me. Tan in the lead. Yeah, so I had stopped adding YouTube because it kept freezing up. Road trip in the lead. Like, and it kept just going to a black screen. And so I had quit. What's up? Hi, honey. That's my husband, everybody. Chaos is my husband. Tan, you got it. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm going to try it. I'm going to switch it around, Deb. Yeah, hopefully it stays. Because, like, what it had been doing is, like, stopping mid-show. Kind of a pain in the butt. All right, this next one is a gorgeous panel bracelet. This one is sterling and turquoise. Four panels, seven and a half inch. There is your signature. It's an A inside. I'm not sure. So this is an artisan maker. I'm going to go ahead and it does function fine. There we go. And this one is turquoise chips. I do want to point out there's a tiny, tiny corner here missing turquoise. It's not very noticeable. It's right by that hinge, which I'm assuming is how it got chipped. Um, but it is chipped just a tiny bit. This one will start at 40 for 15 seconds. I did not ignore you. I answered you. Did you miss me saying hello and telling everybody who you were? How is that ignoring you? I didn't see you write anything else if you wrote something else. Uh-huh. See, who's it, who's ignoring who now, buddy? All right. I did drop the price on this one. This one is an Ann Harvey. Beautiful sterling silver. Signed brooch. Uh, Dalton is there with Brad. Brad is not at home right now. Brad is at Aunt Roberta's house. So this one I dropped to a $30 start. I had it at $50, but I dropped it down to $30. It's an Ann Harvey piano brooch. We'll start it at $30 for 15 seconds. Yeah, I did that. It feels a little bit better. Three, two, one. Up next, we are going to do some earrings. Beautiful. These are Mexico, sterling and turquoise. They are signed. These are vintage tax codes as well. There's your signature. They are clip-ons. Sterling and turquoise. These are beautiful, beautiful settings. We're going to start them at 20 for 15 seconds. Petunia in the lead. Now Miss Bridget. Brooke. <laughs> Brooke went somewhere else. I don't know where Brooke went. Miss Bridget, you got him in first purchase. Thank you so much. I appreciate you and welcome. Up next. 
This one, I believe, is Sterling, West Germany. Oh, just Germany. Sterling, Germany. Gorgeous enamel pen. Sterling and enamel. It is signed Germany and Sterling. And this one, we're going to start at 20 for 15 seconds. It happens, Miss Barbara. It happens. It's okay. Three, two. Up next, we've got a sterling bangle bracelet. This one, let me see if it's signed. This is a SATA sterling. It is signed S E T A. It's a SATA sterling. Ah. Seda Sterling. There's your Seda. Beautiful Sterling Silver Bangle, about a half inch wide. And this one will start at 10 for 15 seconds. And again, if there's anything, type of thing you want to see, rings, necklace, bracelet, brooch, let me know because I got trays and trays of them. Three, two, up next oh yay that's awesome this and i'm actually gonna drop these down i'm gonna drop these little um why are you not working these little sterling dutch sh enamel shoes i'm gonna drop them down to five dollars so these will do at five for 15 seconds and they're going okay melly bell let me see what i got did you see the Jasper earlier? Miss Patty in the lead. I don't think I have a ton, but I have over 20 J King necklaces on their way to me. Oh, I have Amber. I have an Amber. Miss Patty, great buy. Thank you. Let me show you guys an Amber. Look at this. Gorgeous, vintage, uneven amber beads. This one is a 20 inch. Gorgeous. This one I could start at 50. I had it at 75. I could start it at 50. I'll go ahead. Let's, um, how am I going to find this? Oh, there it is. This one we will start at 50 for 15 seconds. Road trip in the lead. Yeah, I can show you the Jasper again. Thrifty shopper in the lead. Now road trip. Road trip. You got it. And first purchase. Thank you so much. Let me show you the Amber or the Jasper. Amber. You are very welcome. This is the Sterling and Jasper that is absolutely amazing. Graduated. Beautiful pieces of Jasper. Sterling silver beads. And they get bigger. It is so, so pretty. It's a 30-inch necklace. And this one's a $40 start. Pretty, pretty Jasper. Let me find. This one is in here somewhere. And this one, let's start it at 40, oh, for 15 seconds. There it goes. Yes, that, it's really cool with the uneven beads um, because most of the time you see them perfectly symmetrical, but that one is totally uneven. Road trip. You got it. Great buy. And just keep telling me if there's stuff you want to see. I Hold on, actually. Give me two seconds. I got more sterling in today, actually. Um, let me see if there's any gemstones in here.
I don't see any. I do. Do you guys want to see something absolutely fantastic? It came with my ring. Yes, Melly. As a matter of fact, that's what I was getting ready to show you. So I have the ring that I'm wearing. This is vintage uh, Navajo Old Pawn. So I have this one. This is size 11 and a quarter. $100 start on that one. Are you guys ready for this? This is one of the most amazing ones I've had. Look at this. Bolo tie. How amazing is this? Uh, this one, <clears throat> I could do a $100 start, and that's me being crazy. I would rather do $150, but I will do a $100 start. This one's pretty fantastic. This one just came in today. Um, I do have sterling and amethyst tennis bracelets. This one is actually peridot amethyst blue topaz pink ice. So I've got these three bracelets. These would be $15 start if anybody is interested in these. Let me see how long they are. They are seven inches. So 15 each start on these. Hello, Forest. Um, I don't see any like obvious gemstones in here. But I do have some on the way. I have some amazing jaking on the way. Which one do you want me to start, Miss Rosie? Which one? These or the bolo? Mac, you need to have money when J. King comes because I have over 20 J. King necklaces coming. They should be here next week. The multicolor one. You got it. So we will run. This is a sterling silver and gemstone bracelet. And this one. Let me find it. We are going to start at $15 for 15 seconds. And it is going. I don't know if they'll be that long, Mac. Um, Cause I'll probably run them pretty close after they get here. Rosie, you have to use the bid button. You have to slide that bid button on the bottom. Melly is in the lead. You have to touch it and slide it to the right. Or if you're on the computer, hit bid. Melly, you got it. Sorry, Miss Rosie. Yeah, I know, Mac. I know. I'll keep finding them though. Don't worry. Oh, did you see the Navajo from earlier? I don't know when you guys came in. So this is a signed Ray Jack. Look at this one. Signed Ray Jack. Are you on the computer, Miss Rosie? It should, it should be coming up whenever I'm running stuff. This is a Navajo Ray Jack Tiger's Eye inlaid. I had 250 on it. I would start it at 200. I think it's worth between seven and a thousand. I could start it at 200. I have it at 250 in the catalog. It is a signed Ray Jack Navajo. This is an amazing piece. And he does not do Tiger's Eye and Jasper very often. So this is a more rare piece. Might even go for over a thousand. So if you want, I could start it at two. It, it is an amazing, look at that with the arrowhead shape. Beautiful. This is one of my favorite pieces I found. It is fantastic. Okay, so they're saying you have to go out and come back in if that bid button isn't showing up. So road trip, just let me know if you want me to run that. 
Let's run. Oh, and let me see, because you asked Zuni or Navajo. Let me look in my bin. Bins. Uh, oh, I have this inlaid Zuni. Let me see what size it is. This is a nine and a half inlaid Zuni ring. This one is a $40 start, which is what I paid. I actually got this one for me because I liked it, but I'm not going to wear it. So that one's 40. I've got that one I'm wearing. Um, I've got this little Zuni inlaid. This is a tack pin, but that middle um, stone is missing. This one's a $15 start. What that one does or the other one? Um, I've got some of the Sterling butterflies that are smaller. I've got the Carolyn Pollock Marcosite Turquoise Coral. Gorgeous Carolyn Pollock Relios pendant. That one's a $50 start. Let me see. What else does I have? Mm -hmm. Oh, I've got the Mayan uh, calendar pendants. <laughs> I see your message, Road Trip. Um, yeah, I'll start it for that. I will. I'll do it. All right, guys, we're going to run this one. It is a 24-inch Ray Jack Navajo. Handmade. <laughs> Twist my arm. This is worth $700 to $1,000 for those of you that are resellers. Um, just an FYI. It is super valuable. And this one, I'm going to drop it down to $175 for 15 seconds. And it is going well over $500 in profit on that. Or a great Tiger's Eye and Jasper, Marsha. Melly Bell in the lead. Now road trip. And it is a Ray Jack sign. He has a bunch of turquoise, but not much Jasper and Tiger's Eye. Road trip in the lead. Now Melly. Road trip is winning. Hi, Sam. Happy Thanksgiving. Melly in the lead. Now road trip. Melly coming back. I if you look on for Ray Jack stuff, you will not see the um Jasper and Tiger's Eye. You only see those turquoise pieces. Melly Bell, you got it. That is an absolutely great purchase. Thank you so much. All right, I've got these Mayan calendar. These are a $20 start. You're so welcome. I've got that one and that one. Yeah, that kind of, <laughs> I did not expect that, but it happens. Uh, Carolyn Pollock charms, no. The only Carolyn Pollock piece I have is that pendant right now in sock. Um, I've got some gorgeous Art Deco pendants. Look at these. Sterling and black, Sterling Marcosite Black Onyx. This is a $20 start. And then I've also, look at this amethyst one. This is a locket. Sterling Amethyst signed FAS and Marcosite. Very Art Nouveau, yes. Very, very Art Nouveau. $20 start on that one, 20 on that one. Ah, let's see what else is in here. Oh, I dropped this one to a $20 start, guys. I dropped, I had it a $50 start. I've dropped it to 20. It is sterling and it is signed Mexico. Drop this brooch to a $20 start with that amazing mother of pearl. I don't know if anybody wants me to run that one. 
Yeah, this one's impressive. Beautiful. Um, what else do I have? I can, I'm going to run the catalog. If there's something in particular you want to see, tell me. For now, I'm going to finish running through this catalog since Aunt Roberta took pictures and sized it for us. Why do I not see it? There it is. Oh, let me put these back. No, that that pendant is literally the only Carolyn Pollock that I have right now. I had a couple other, but we sold them um, over the weekend. This is a Sterling and Marcosite hummingbird. Beautiful, beautiful brooch. This one we're going to start at 20 for 15 seconds. And it is running. Oh, Sacred Cake um, commented on one of my videos the other day. All right, we have another Sterling Bangle. This one is Jewel Art Sterling. It is signed. Jewel Art Sterling. Really, really pretty stamped. It's almost like little hearts. So it is signed. Jewel Art Sterling. And we will start it at $10 for 15 seconds. And it is running. Terrace in the lead. Hi, friend. I didn't see you come in. Tan is winning. Terrace in the lead. Thank you, Miss Barbara. I appreciate that. Terrace, you got it. Thank you, thank you. Next. Oh, these are so pretty. These are vintage screwbacks. Look at these. Sterling silver. They are signed. What's up, Sarsar? Sarsar, look at my ring I'm wearing. Do you want to buy it? Isn't it amazing? It's Old Pawn, Navajo. I will sell it right off my finger. All right, Sterling <laughs> Screwback ring earrings. These, we're going to start at 15 for 15 seconds. Bodacia in the lead. Three, two, one. Great buy on those. What else do I have in my bag of tricks? Oh, let me show you. Do you want to see some fabulous stuff? You guys asked about Navajo. Um, so the stuff I got today was from a Navajo collector. So check this out. This is a signed Navajo Kachina turquoise and sterling silver letter opener this one is signed by don platero oh that's awesome bodacia if you know me you know i love kachinas if i use letter openers i would be tempted to keep this one so there's your signature um what else is in this bag of tricks this little thing I think might be worth like a thousand dollars. It's a little antique Chinese sterling little cup. Look at the dragons with the rings. It is a Don Platero. Don Platero. And then 
I don't know if anybody needs a single sterling napkin ring. It is incised or etched. I've got that. Oh, this is not sterling, but, and I have not had any in a while. This is a Kramer New York. And this color, I think, is going to be pretty dang valuable. I've got the brooch and I've got the earrings for the Kramer. This set, I could start at 100. And I think that's really low. It is a signed Kramer. There's your Kramer New York. But that lavender is fantastic. This all came in today. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I don't know if anybody needs a little sterling um, salt cellar holder. I have that. Oh, Sarsar, -sar, check this out. So this is from the um, 1930s. This is sterling and it reinforced sterling. 1930s. The letter opener, I would start the um, this one at 100. That one I could start at 100. I have other ones. Hold on. They were a letter opener. This is my favorite one. Look at this. The Roadrunner. This one I could start at 50. This one's also sterling. I'm obsessed with Roadrunners and Kachinas. So these are like both right up my alley. And they are both sterling. I don't know if this one, I don't think this is sterling. It might, it might be sterling. I haven't had time to test it, but I do have this little vintage compact. Uh, this one I'd be willing to start at like 20 bucks if somebody's interested. It looks definitely an older one, patent applied for. But I could start this one at 20. What else is in? Oh, check this out. So these are signed. Um, the watch is kind of a moot point. This is T Singer. Look at the Coca Pellis. So, like I said, the watch is kind of whatever. The real thing is the Sterling Coca Pelli watch connectors. Do you want me to run it, Melly? I'll run it for 20 if you want me to. Sure. Okay. Oh, yeah, the Coca Pelli or the Compact? <laughs> Both. All right. Let's go ahead and run the compact. And we will run it at 20 for 15 seconds. Melly is winning. Melly, three, two. You got it. Thank you. Thank you. I think that was all in that bag of tricks, but I do have another bag of tricks. I do not know Durandal. I haven't tested it. It was in my Sterling lot, but I haven't tested it, so I didn't start it high. Again, this one's probably a $1,000 piece antique Chinese Sterling Dragon Dish. It is. It is. I think it's, It's like I said, I think it's worth probably a thousand. Probably between 700 and a thousand. Um, there is, it says KM830S. KM830S. A hundred dollar start on the letter openers. This one is a signed uh, Don Platero. Ag the Roadrunner, I could start at 50, um, but the Don Platero would be 100. These have sold up to 300. The Dove Brooch, I could start at 40. Um, on the little bowl, I would start it at like 150. 
Run the Roadrunner. I can do it. Sterling Silver and Turquoise. And this one, I'm going to start it. I'll start it at $50 for you guys for 15 seconds. All Sterling Silver, guys, and Turquoise. I had a letter opener collector. Three, two. What did I say I would start this at? Did I say 50? 30. Okay, I'll do it. Yeah, the dragon's 1220. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to start at 30. If I said it, I'm doing it. 30 for 15 seconds. It's okay. It's fine. It's going at 30. It is worth a lot more. This one's cool. Blue Diva in the lead. I think it's at least 75, if not 100. Blue Diva in the lead. Sar Sar is winning. Three, two. You got it, my friend. What else? I have a whole nother bag of tricks here. Oh, check this letter opener out. Look at this. You could like stab somebody with this thing. This one's got a sharpened edge. Don't hurt anybody. It's all sterling. It is signed. Oh, look, it's got the little, like, Kachina Indian face. Do you see it? I don't know who that maker is. Do you see it there? The little face? I'm like a little jellyfish. Oh, wait. There's more. Look. This one is a Navajo. Um... I would, I would almost put money into Navajo. Really cool. I'd be willing to start this one at 50. This is all my new stuff that came in today. Oh, I think this is money. Sar Sar, check this out and tell me if you have ever seen this. Um, Because I couldn't find any. This one is um, Diadema, Italy. Look at this. So there are a lot of diademas. Some of them sell super high. This one's sterling with gold vermeil. It's not. Um, I don't think it. No, it won't adjust. Oh, it is on my thing. I think it's like an eight. Oh, how the heck do you say it? D Y A. D E M A. There, it's it Italy. It's Italian. But this is all sterling. Some of them sell low if they're really plain, but this one I feel like would probably sell high. I couldn't find anything like it. Um, what else is in here? Oh, check this out with the coral center. This one's a really nice sterling brooch. Yeah, it slides a little bit. Aaron, are you here? Calling Aaron. Or anybody else that likes sterling thimbles. Okay, hold on. Let me find the other one. There are two of them. There it is. Oh, there are three of them. Which brooch, Miss Lori? Which one? I don't remember having a coral brooch. Am I crazy? Did I have a coral brooch? Oh, I did. Durr. Where did I just sit it? Did I put it back in the bag? Just ignore me. I do this sometimes. I think I have, hold on. I think I have the earrings to match it. I found one earring. 
Oh, look at this letter opener. Look at that Sterling over Mother of Pearl letter opener. How Art Deco is that one? Where's the other earring? I don't see the other earring. Maybe I only found one. Um, I would start at 25. I put it back in the bag like a ding dong. And then I'll show you the thimbles. They're right here. I've got them. I promise. They're actually, um, two of them are Navajo. And this one's got the nice copper ring on it too. Yeah, I, I sat and went through this this afternoon. I had fun. Okay, here's the thimbles. Look at this one with coral. It's almost like the Zuni teeth on this one. Doesn't say a size, so I do not know. It is sterling silver. So I've got this one. I've got this one. This one does have an inscription, but this one is like really Art Deco Victorian. And then this is my favorite. I've never seen one like this. Look at this sterling inlaid, like the Zuni thimble. How amazing is that? I would be willing to start any of the thimbles at 20. Yeah, I've never seen Native American ones. They're really cool. I'd be willing to start any of them at 20. I know, then you'd have to find more like this, right? And I bet they're... Oh, I got to show you guys this Malachite ring. Check out this one. This one's another Native American piece. You ready? Look at that. Ooh la la. Actually, it's not. Looking under here, I bet it's jade. It's not green enough to be malachite. Look at those incisions and like the artwork on this, though. This one is a size 7. Size 7 on that one. I'm going to look it up. Oh, that's cool. That's good to know, Aaron. Let me look that up. Let's see. There are some really elaborate ones, Sarsar. There's some cool ones. The price is like all over the place. Let's see what else is in here. Let me see what else is in the bins too. Oh, this is a gorgeous Y necklace. Look. Sterling Marcosite Mother of Pearl. This one I could start at 30. This one is gorgeous. That would be a cool thing to collect though because they're little and don't take up a lot of space. That one, I could do 30. These I could do at 15. These are sterling silver and garnet uh, earrings. Very mid-century modern look. They are post-sterling earrings. They actually would make a cool brooch like that. Which one? Pascal's. I've got the sterling and mother of pearl. This one's got a thumb rest that's nice. The This one is a signed um, Don Platero. This one's a $100 starting bid. This thing will stab somebody. This one's also signed, though. This one I could do 50, 100. I could do 30 on this Mother of Pearl to start. P-L-A-T-E-R-O. Do you want me to run this one, Pascals? A hundred. 
This is all sterling silver and turquoise, and it's signed on Platero Kachina. Let's see what else is in. I don't know. What do you guys want to see? Rings? Pendants? Oh, these are cute. I don't think I've showed these. Um, where's the other one? Is this it? Look at this silver with gold vermeil kitty cat. This one I could start at 10. This one is signed Thailand. I can only find one is the problem. I've got one. Hold on, I will try and take things out of here. I don't remember if I ever found the second one. I honestly might only have one. Oh, look at this kitty cat. He's a poofy kitty cat, Sterling. Signed. Taxco. Um, I don't know how I could miss that because it's like super out there. For the kitty cat? Where did I put him? I could start him, the kitty cat, at 15. Oh, this is another letter opener. Look at this sterling and turquoise letter opener. That one is cool. This one I could start at 30. It's all sterling silver. This one's nice. Run it? Okay. Hold on. Let me... It looks like I only have one earring of that coral. So, I mean, I could run it with the one, but I, di I don't think I had the other one. All right, let's run that letter opener. This is vintage Navajo. It is all sterling with turquoise. And this one we will run at 30 for 15 seconds. And it is going. Oh, it would make a gorgeous pendant or um, brooch. Yes, for sure. Pascal's, you got it in first purchase. Thank you so much. You could. The mermaid starting bid. I was doing 250. I could do 200. I think it's a minimum value of 500. It is all etched bone and jade. Oh, you're so, so welcome. I'm happy to help. So I could drop this one down to 200. This is amazing. It is artist signed. I found some smaller ones like that big that were selling for four to 500. Nothing like this one. Um, the glass. Um... Just Hallmark 925, Lori. Just Hallmark 925. The rose glass. I could do 100. I could do 100 on the rose glass. It is a 16 inch. And the... Let me double check. I'm 90% sure it's 16. I'll double check. I have my tape measure here. Yes, it is absolutely fantastic. It's actually only a 14. It's an old one. It's 14 inch. Yeah, I'm not sure how you would add to this one because it's got that, um, the fasteners up front. Yeah, I would like if I had an idea, I would tell you. And I did hear you on these. Here, here they are. Run the necklace. All right, I'm going to drop it to 100, Sarsar. Sar. You better start listing stuff, lady. 
All right. <laughs> Started at 100 for 15 seconds. Sarsar said she'll extend it, and then you'll have to buy it from her. Sarsar in the lead. And it is sterling, guys. It is sterling and rose glass. Sarsar in the lead. Three, two. You got it. Yeah, somebody put them together. <laughs> I got it. I was being lazy. <laughs> Here you go. It is. It is an amazing necklace. Sorry, sorry. You'll have to tell Bodacia if you extend it. Here they are. They are beautiful. Sterling and garnet post earrings. Yeah, you have to tell her because that's a fabulous one. These are beautiful. And again, I could run them at 15. 15, Miss Lori. I think I had them at 20 the other night. Okay. All right. These, we will start at 15 for 15 seconds. And they are running. So pretty. Moss in the lead. No, Miss Lori. Moss is winning. What is going on? You got it, Moss. Thank you. Thank you. Did anybody want the kitty cat run? I think I think I said 20, but I'll run him for 15. If anybody wants the bigger kitty cat, he is uh, stamped. And then I don't think I've shown this. Check this out. So this is hematite and glass and then this amazing cross. Look at that. This one's cool. Um, ooh, look at this. This one just came in today. Look at that setting. And that ruby red. This one is quite fantastic. Yeah, it is beautiful. What else? I don't know. I ordered some new displays so I can kind of separate them. I've got this one. Uh, that one, CJ, is a six. All those older ones are so tea tiny. It's a six. But it could be sized easy up to an eight or a nine. If you needed it sized. We've got this turquoise and coral. I don't know, Miss Barbara, because it's so, I don't know. And I can't get my stupid um, presidium to behave. I need to recalibrate um, it. Otherwise, I would test it. Last time I tried to use it. <laughs> it might still be here, Matt. You never know. This one's pretty and so thick and sterling. Look at how fun this one is. It's like an abstract almost. Super cool. And little hearts, maybe. I don't know. It's an artisan ring and it's super thick sterling. 30, Miss Carla. $30 start. Maybe they're Arabic letters. I don't know. Maybe. Super thick sterling. I've got, like, so much jewelry just thrown here. Oh, this one's neat. Let me see what this thing says. This one says, where there is injury, pardon. Where there is error, truth. Where there is discord, harmony. Where there is doubt, faith. There's your sterling stamp. 
Where there is despair, hope. This is super cool. Look. Peace where there is hatred, let me sow love. St. Francis prayer. So, so cool. Bengal. All sterling. Really, really cool. Thank you, Mike and Mincy. You too. So cool. Yeah, I think that would make a great Christmas gift for sure. Um, I think you've probably seen the Julianas, Lori. So I showed the Julianas. Um, here's another Juliana. Rock crystal antique brooch. This one I could just start it. I think I said 30, but I do 20 on that one. Um, did you see the amazing bolo tie? This one's fantastic. $150 starting bid on the bolo, which is really low. You want me to run it, Melly? This one I could start at 20, Sabrina. I'll run this one. We'll run it at 150. This one we will start at 150 for 15 seconds. And it is going. This one came with my ring. <laughs> they were together. Melly in the lead. Melly. Amazing price. My last one sold for 550. Great price. Yay, Melly! Do you want me to run this the St. Francis pair? The little, little, little St. Francis prayer at 20? Yes, okay. I have like so much jewelry everywhere. I'm just going to hold it. So we'll run the St. Francis sterling bracelet. Yes, you're very welcome, Melly. We will start this one at 20 for 15 seconds. If I get good deals, I'm happy to pass them on. Antiques on the corner in the lead. Antiques on the corner is winning. Sabrina is winning. You got it. First purchase. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And welcome, welcome. What else is in the bag? I'm trying to think of what else I showed the first hour. There's catalog stuff. Um, I have Joan Rivers. I, okay. This Lample Lobster. Um, I have, not of the kitty cat. I have the kitty cat brooch that I would start uh, at 15. And then I have the little kitty cat pendant that is silver and gold vermeil that I could start at 10. I think those are the only two kitty cats I've got. This Lample, amazing sterling, I overpaid for. Um, I think, so I would start this for what I paid, which is $250 if anybody's interested. I paid more than I wanted to. It is still, there's still room for profit, but I paid more than I should have. Bad, bad cat. But you could probably price it around 700 and sit on it, and it would probably sell. It's a really rare piece. And this is a signed lample. Yeah, it is. It's a great piece. I just paid too much. I would start it at what I paid, which is 250 Here's another Juliana. Lample. L-A-M-P-L. Walter Lample. This is another Juliana. This one I could start. This one I could start at 50 It is missing the pen, but that's another Juliana. Here's another Juliana. This one's $75 start on this one. Um, oh, this is RLM Studios and it's rock crystal. This one's really cool. 
The back of which, Melly? Tell me what you want to see the back of. The Juliana? There's this one. And then I've got several. There is that one. I believe so, Mac. There's that one. Here's this one. Let me see what size since she asked which size. And then I've also got this amazing Juliana. And this one. This one has earrings to match. The crystal ring is, ooh, it's a size 10. Size 10. It's really pretty. I can start this one at 20. RLM Studios, size 10. Ooh, run it, you got it. RLM Studio, size 10. We'll start at 20 for 15 seconds. I knew what you meant. Moonchild in the lead. This one's a cool ring. Erin is winning. You could. That will be your, Moonchild, that will be your next, um, your next career. You'll be a fortune teller. If you're not already, maybe you are already. Thank you, Moonchild. Rub it, run it, do something with it, right? I could, but I wouldn't really lower them, uh, Mike and Mitzi. It would save you on shipping, though. I could run them at 25 for both of them if you want. Because I had to cat this one at 20 and dropped it to 15. Okay, yeah, I can do that. All right, so we will run these two at 25 for 15 seconds. They are going now. Mike and Mitzi in the lead. AJ in the lead. Mike and Mitzi are winning. You got it. Thank you. Thank you. I also have the amazing purple Kramer too. Kramer of New York. I have a brooch and earring set. I don't even remember what the heck I said I'd started at. What'd I say? Sar Sar 100? I think I said 100. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I think, yeah, I think I said 100. This is an amazing set. This is honestly one of my favorite brooch sets I've ever found. The color is just like so friggin' amazing. Look at that. Gorgeous light lavender. And I have the earrings. They are both Kramer of New York. They are so pretty. Beautiful light lavender. These are definitely... The bottom looks a little darker because they're bigger. Um, but I think they're the same. Sorry, sorry. But the bottom, because of that, you know, larger stone, it looks like it's darker because they're deeper stones. Bye, Melly. Have a great Thanksgiving. Thank you. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. These are amazing. This one is a signed Kramer. Yeah, the J-King is coming. I got the shipping notice. It is on the way. I think I got like 20, maybe even more. J-King's coming. So, a lot. Yeah, we'll be around, Mike and Mitzi. Um, let's see. I've got like, I, I totally just jacked this up. I don't think so. I don't think it does. It 
It's so amazing. I couldn't find any like this, this color. I think this will go for a lot. I need to just pull some of these and throw them up on auction. A hundred on the Kramer set, WKL. I could do a hundred starting for the brooch and the earrings. Ah, if I don't jump. This is such a cool letter opener. Look at that with the little thumb imprint and the sterling over mother of pearl it's carved mother of pearl letter opener and the thimbles there's that one let me i wonder if i can just show you guys like the trays I'm trying to gather things i've like such mess things up i'm gonna have a system soon me too sorry sorry me too I mean, I sell a lot, but I buy more than I sell. Oh, the Cocopelli. These are some amazing Native American pieces that I just got, including that ring. This one will cut you. Will cut you so bad. <laughs> I need to research those signatures. It's got three signatures on it. Roadrunner. Uh, this is a Cocapelli dancer. That's what they're called, Miss Barbara. This is a Cocapelli. One of my favorite things. I pick up like everything Cocapelli I find. I love Cocapelli dancers just because they're cool. Yeah, it's for uh, good luck for fertility. This one's pretty. It does. I know you can like. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to show you guys the trays. Sar Sar. Do you remember these? Oh. Look at that. This is uh, Vintage Tax Co. Castillo. Uh, these are Castillo. Um, and these I could, I this would be a $350 starting bid. This one is early 1900s. And this one, I think it's like 1930s. Um, with the little boy. What is what? This is a cloak or a sweater clip. It's worth a lot more. This one, I could start at 40. It is worth about 100. Um, oh, don't forget, I still have the sterling and amethyst um, tennis bracelets, guys. For $15 starts. They almost look like they're matchy matchy, don't they? Wikipedia, your best friend. Here's a vintage uh, cloak. This one's worth over a hundred. I could start it at forty. This one is signed, made in Italy. Slaying the dragon. Okay. Um. King Arthur. We showed the Carolyn Pollock. I'm trying to see what I haven't shown you guys. I've got, here's my tray. Um, these are all $15 starts. If you see something in here you like. There's the butterfly. I have various sizes of the butterfly. I've got this gorgeous carnelian. And these are all sterling if they're in this tray. And look at that Swarovski crystal ring. If you want a size on anything, just let me know. Oh, look at these $15 start post earrings. Believe that is amber and amber amethyst and real pearls. These are gorgeous.
Um, yeah, they're nice, Sarsar. These are all $15 start, too. I don't... How would it be financed? What do you mean? I've got that Art Deco heart. Oh, it's an antique rock crystal pendant, Karen. I could start it at 20 It's an antique rock crystal. Yeah, this one's pretty amazing. Okay, I will run it. We will start it at 20 for 15 seconds. There you are. Antique rock crystal pendant. Brooch, I lied. I don't know why I said pendant. I do not know Brad Rigsby, but you can't hear me. Somebody tell Brad to go out and come back in. Yes, this is a gorgeous piece of... I don't think so, Mac. You got it, Miss Karen. Thank you. Great buy. Thanks, Sarsar. Um... Oh, look at this drop one. Sterling silver necklace and pendant. $15 start on this one. Most of these are Italian chains. Oh, so now I know how to go sneaky sneaky into people's shows. Oh, I haven't showed this. Look at this. Nativity scene, guys. Sterling silver nativity scene on a sterling chain. $15 start. This one is cool. The whale tail, my personal favorite. I've had multiple whale tails in my life. Do not call her Erin. That is very offensive, Sam. Do not do it. This is, it says key to my heart and has the little rhinestone key. This one is sterling. Do not say my name. Nobody knows it. There's this little heart. These would be good little Christmas gifts. Oh, this is cool. This is all sterling. Look, it's a triple strand. Sterling necklace. This one's really pretty. Ooh, Miss Barbara. People call me that and like nobody pays attention. They're like, who the hell are they talking about? They just don't know. And it's so funny because my mom calls me that. And then my best friend that um, came to Mount Dora with me calls me that. And then um, run the nativity in third strand. I got you, Miss Patty. So we'll run the third three strand first since I have it on my hand still. So we will start this one at 15 for 15 seconds. And then we'll run the nativity. So this one is going. It is an 18 inch. I don't know what I got. It must have been from going through the jewelry. This one is for sale. That one's for sale. Um, and Prissy that works for me worked for me before I started going by Cat too. So she calls me Katrina too. Oh, interesting, Mac. Meyer Way, you got it. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's do the gorgeous nativity scene. This one's so cool. I've never seen anything like that, the little tiny pendant. This one, we are going to start at 15 for 15 seconds. And it is signed, I think. Oh, I have it the right way. It is signed on the back, though. And then K in the lead. Oh, okay. Bye, Sarsar. Thank you for all your help all the time. Patty takes it. Thank you, ma'am. I know. I don't know how nobody's caught this thing. And I even lowered it to a $200 starting bid. I lowered it $50. I haven't even had it that long. Some of these will probably get thrown up on auction. 
the jade ring. I'm thinking. I don't remember a jade ring. Oh, oh, I remember. I remember. Hold on. I'll find it. I know which one you're talking about. I put it in the bag. I thought I put it in the bag. Did I put it in this bag? Oh, yeah. I got it. I got it. I said 30, but I could start it at 25, Lori, if you want. It is a size... Just shot it. Oh, it's a seven. It's a seven. Yes, with a signature and a maker's mark. So this one might be valuable. It is. Um, I can't get it to show because of that big old honking stone. But yeah, do you see it there? It's got like a maker's signature. There's Mexico I can read. Maybe it's a vintage Taxco. Hmm, interesting. And it's got free fuzz. But it, yes, it is stamped. Oh, it's got a couple of like superficial scratches there. If you can see it catching in the light. See it right there? It's got a couple of little superficial, but nothing like overly... Just that one. It probably would buff out, honestly. Okay. We will run this one. Size 7. It is signed. And we will start it at 25 for 15 seconds. And it is going. Sam and the weed. I messaged Brad because he came in and he said that he's playing cards. I said, did you come in and then just run away? And he did. Lori in the lead. Now N and K. It really does. I like stuff. I prefer stuff unpolished. I don't like shiny and new. N and K first purchase. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's see what else. Oh, this is the fun, the dangly one. Yeah, I do. I've got the butterfly ones. I've got that carnelian one. Hold on. I have to show this because I started talking about this. has got like the free dangle pendant with the heart. Let's see what other rings. I dropped it from $250 to a $200 start, Mom. I believe it's worth five to $700. I'll start it at $200. It is carved bone and jade. And fantastic. Sterling stamped and a maker signature. It is very, very. Okay, let's see what else. I'm pulling out the trays. So ring wise. I've got this one. This one also looks like jade. This one's a $20 start. This one is five and three quarters. This is a small one. This is old. The older ones typically are. $20 start on that one. I've got this pretty flower. This one looks tiny too. Um, I already showed you guys these. Look, this I have for $20. This is a really thick 20-inch uh, rope chain. This would make a great Christmas present, too, for a girl or a guy. This is a nice Italian rope chain. I could start at 20 bucks. Hold on. I'm stacking trays. It's like Jenga in here with jewelry. These are $10 starts. Um, there are earrings, there are donkeys. This is an adjustable faux stone sterling silver. This one's a $10 start. 
I dropped this one to 10. Okay, Miss Patty. There are a lot of rings in here, but they're all smaller. Oh, look at this one with the blue glass. This one's a cool one. I love how it's inset. The yellow ring. Okay. I'll take it out, Pooh, and I'll get you a size. Let me run this necklace for Miss Patty real quick. Yes, the donkeys are very cute. So this one we will run for Miss Patty. This one's probably worth a couple hundred bucks. We'll start this one at 20 for 15 seconds. 20 inch. Yes, ma'am, Miss Lori. Miss Patty in lead. Yeah, oh yeah, way, way. It's less than melt value right now. This is way less than melt value. Classic car girl. Great buy. All right. Let me show you guys this ring. This one is a size nine and a quarter. Yeah, that one's a very nice one. This one is garnet and citrine. Nine and a quarter. I'll put it on the holder. You're so welcome. Great buy. Nine and a quarter. Garnet and citrine and sterling silver. We will start this one at 10. For 15 seconds. Hold on, Miss Lori. Yes, it is stamped. It is stamped. Patty in the lead. Miss Patty is winning. Patty, you got it. Thank you, ma'am. All right, let's look at some of these other. Whoa. This is Lucite. Sterling and Lucite with baguettes on the side. It's really cool. That's another fortune telling ring. Oh, look at this little citrine and marcasite. Does it glow? Let's see if the good old black light will give us one more go round. I don't know how I'm testing this. It does appear to glow. Yes, Miss Barbara, the Florida Lee. Yeah. Hold, please. Oh, no, don't pull out on gloves. Where did they go? They're in a tray. they were they in? oh my gosh of course they were oh i see them i got them because i'm a ding dong i was thinking they were in an earlier tray these are like stained glass and sterling bye mac feel better they are so pretty miss barbara these are in the ten dollar tray Okay, these are Pierce Sterling stained glass floor de lee. We'll start them at 10 for 15 seconds. Miss Barbara is winning. Now, Ranch Girl.
You got it, Ranch Girl. Thank you, thank you. Did anybody see anything else? Or was there anything else you wanted to see? I have tons of brooches. Do you guys want to see brooches? They're not sterling. Um, do you want to see any brooches? <laughs> Karen. $100 start. I'm looking for the carnelian ring. I think it was in... Oh, here it is. Here's the carnelian ring. Carnelian ring's a $15 start. It is a size... Seven. Okay, I think I'll put a giveaway on. Go to the bathroom. And then we'll do some brooches. I have a whole bag. I just got them in today. Some really great ones. Want to run the carnelian at 15, size 7? I have fat fingers. This one, so you know, is a size 11 and a quarter. It's old Navajo pawn. If not, it's just going to hang out on my finger because I like it. It, the carnelian is an older one. So it is marked sterling and it has a maker's mark. It has got sterling written out and a maker's mark on the carnelian. Yes. Here's the rose earrings. And these are also marked. These are uh, sterling Thailand. They are pierced ears. They are solid sterling. These are not hollow. These are really nice. I could do those at 10. All right, I'll run. You want me to run these or the earrings? I think the, the carnelian. All right, we'll run the <laughs> both. Okay, we'll run the carnelian ring size seven at 15 for 15 seconds. And then I'll run the rose earrings. And you guys can go back to anything too. And I'll just throw a giveaway up. And, um, and then we'll do some brooches. Because nobody's home right now. It's like super quiet. And I'm fine to keep running. If you guys want to see more stuff, I'll show you more stuff. Lori in the lead, now NNK. I've, and I've got tons of brooches, so we can switch it over. Lori is winning. Lori, three, two. You got it. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's do the earrings, and then we'll do a giveaway. And then we'll look at some brooches. Solid Sterling Thailand Rose 3D Earrings. We'll start them at 10 for 15 seconds. Cactus Blossom is Brenda coming in. Hi, friend. You got it. All right, let's put a giveaway up. Let me find what I'll give away. And then we'll switch to brooches. Giveaway. Why are there no items? I had 10. What is wrong with you, whatnot? Hold on. Show. Let me look on my other phone. Maybe they'll be there. How are they on my other phone and not on the iPhone? That makes absolutely no sense. You're so welcome. Let's give away. Here, we'll give away these earrings. I'm going to run to the bathroom and grab the brooches, and I'll be right back. So if anybody comes, tell them I'm coming right back.
I'm coming, I'm coming. Alright, I got two bags of brooches we'll go through. It's at the top. Patty, if I get a good um if I get a good deal on it, I'm happy to pass it on. Um and for these, um the big thing is um that it's a fast turnover. I see it on the top. So I've got two giant bags of brooches. Actually, and I'm going to edit. I'll start all of these brooches at, um, I'll start all the brooches at $5 too that I'm going to show. I'm updating it now so it'll be easier to read. The Marcusite and Mother of Pearl necklace. Yes, I can show you that again. And then I can do the... Here's the Marcusite and Mother of Pearl. And this one's a longer one, too. It's a 20-inch chain. And it is marked. Yeah, it's very, very pretty. Thank you, House of Daisy. And then the Marcusite Cross. Where are you? The necklace, I, I'll drop it down and start it at 20. The Marcusite Cross and... Here's the Marcusite cross. Isn't it beautiful with the little um, black onyx heart up top? This one I could drop to a $15 start. 20 on the necklace. Not that I see. On this one, all the Marcusites are there. Yeah, I can run the necklace and I'll run the cross. Yep. Let me double check. Let's look at this necklace again close. Hold on. All right, here's the necklace. So we'll do this one first. And it is a little wide drop. Oh, the winner's coming. Karen, you won the sterling earrings. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, let's run this necklace. I think I hear Brad and Dalton. The necklace has got a maker. Let me see. Hold on. It is marked. Um, hold on. It's an ATI Thailand. ATI Thailand, Miss Lori, and it is Mark Sterling. That's why it's longer, so it's a little bit newer. All right, there it is, and we will start this one at 20 for 15 seconds, and it is going. And I don't see any missing on this one either. Lori and the lead. Is that Brad home? He booms like a teenager. Oh, maybe it's the neighbors booming, not Brad. The actual teenagers. You got it, Miss Lori. Thank you. And then we'll run the cross. Yeah, if you guys want to Sterling, just tell me once we switch over to the um brooches, we can always go back to the Sterling too. So this Sterling Black Onyx and Marcosite. I will drop it down to 15 for 15 seconds and it is going. I thought it was Brad. Lynn in the lead. 
Nope, it says Brad is still at Aunt Louise's house. Miss Lynn in the lead. Three, two, got it. Great lie. Let me get a new bin. There's also stuff in the catalog. If you see numbers in the catalog, just let me know. All right. Do you guys want me to just start running brooches? Is that how we want to do this? Or how do we want to do this? Do you want to tell me? Yes, just start running it. Okay, this is a little enameled strawberry. And then if you don't want it, you don't want it. We'll start it at five for 15 seconds. I've got bags and bags of brooches. This one I think might be gold. I'll start it still. I think this next one might be gold. Re-Ocean State in the lead. Three, two... One. Got it. And first purchase. Thank you so much. All right. This might be gold. I have not tested it. It is very old. It does need a little repair. This needs to be bent back. But look at this. And it very well might be gold. She almost looks like a ghost. This is a very old one. Yeah, I will, Miss Lori. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. All right, I'm going to run this brooch, and then I will run the coral brooch in the one earring. We're going to start this one at five for 15 seconds. I think this one might be gold. It is not magnetic, but I have not tested it. I didn't have time. Sally in the lead. Re-Ocean State is winning. I like your name. Yeah, it's very spooky. You could put like haunted brooch. And then I will dig up that coral brooch. And if I find the other earring, I will include it as well. But I don't see, I took everything out of that bag. Sally in the lead. Three, two, one. Great buy. That one might be worth a few hundred. Okay, let me find this coral one. What I say I'd start it at? I don't remember, Lori. What did I say? Twenty-five. Okay, I will do it. All right. So it's one one earring. If I find the other one, I will include it. They are marked M Sterling, and the brooch. And we will start the two of them at 25 for 15 seconds. Lori in the lead. <coughs> Rhonda is winning. Rhonda, you got it in first purchase. Thank you so much, Miss Rhonda, and welcome. I appreciate you. Check this out, guys. Now, it is missing some stones. It is very old. Look at this. It's a stick pen, like for a collar. How amazing is this? This one will start at 5 for 15 seconds. I'm just pulling out of my bag of bag of brooches. Oh, this next one's super cool. I need to have a bin. Oh, there's a bin. Hold on. I'm going to have a bin for our... I can't believe nobody got this. This one's probably worth some money. Um, Miss Patty, I don't know. And they're stuffed in bags. So I'm just going to pull them. I don't remember... <laughs> This is a Lancer 2. Check this out. With the Lucite over the Partridge. Partridge in a pear tree, guys. Perfect signed Lancer 2. Perfect for Christmas coming up. We're going to start it at 5 for 15 seconds. This one has some value as well. 
Ryushin State in the lead. Now, Laura. Oh, a bag of, a bag of brooches. There might be Irish ones. Now you're making me wonder. There are some more valuable ones in here, though. I just threw them all in the same bag. Sally in the lead. Well, there's two bags. I had too much for one bag. Sharon is winning. Three, two. You got it. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, look at this with the glass. Vintage 3D glass rhinestones. <laughs> this one, I'm tired, Miss Patty. That's why it didn't like sink in. This <laughs> one, we're going to start at five for 15 seconds. This one's nice. Oh, it helps if cat hits start. There's the back again. Re Ocean State in the lead. Is it, does anybody know? Is it still broadcasting over on YouTube? Is it working right over there? Kathleen in the lead. Because last time it went black and wouldn't work anymore. Reocean State is winning. Reocean State. Now Miss Kathleen. Yay, it's working. Thank you. Reocean State in the lead. Anything dog related? <sighs> I don't think so, Miss Lori. Not that I remember seeing. Kathleen in the lead. Sarsar done left me, so I ain't going to know if I'm selling something crazy valuable. You got it, Miss Kathleen. Thank you. Gotcha. You want an owl? Look at this. This is a Russian enamel. Like, check this out for Halloween. I had this at a $20 start, but I'm going to start it at 5 bucks. Hand-painted Russian enamel, the owl and the moon. This is such a cool piece. We're going to start it at 5 for 15 seconds. That's cool, Patty. Do you have them in like a display case? Miss Patty is winning. Oh, Miss Sharon. It, it, oh, it definitely is artwork. It is so cool. And it's all hand painted. Sharon is winning. Three, two. You got it. Thank you, thank you. Check out this bad boy. Very art deco. Look at the blue. This is a brass. There's the back. It is open, so you get the light through those stones. And this one, we will start at five for 15 seconds. Jin's in the lead. Now, Miss Brenda. Yeah, this is a gorgeous piece. Jin's in the lead. This next one, I think, might be very valuable and I might kick myself. Maybe I should use Google Lens first. Miss Brenda in the lead. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know. I'm going to run it. Oh, I don't know. Probably Amazon. All right. I'm going to run it. I might be crazy. This is poured glass, guys. This is quite fantastic. All right, I'm going to run it. I'm going to close my eyes. I know. Okay, $5, 15 seconds. It's going. It's poured glass, and it's amazing. <laughs> Don't look. Brenda in the lead. We we'll have another really fancy, smancy one. Rhonda is winning. Yeah, oh, there's really good ones in these. I just got these in today. Hello, Chasing Sunsets. Miss Brenda. You got it. Great buy. 
Okay, I'll let's do this un another spectacular one. Look at this. It looks like yellow topaz or citrine and peridot. Look at that. Individual rhinestone settings. Yes, they are all faceted. All right. Close my eyes and five dollars fifteen seconds. <laughs> don't look at the look. Carla in the lead. These all just came in today. Miss Patty in the lead. Now House of Daisy. I know. I'm random sometimes. It's okay. I don't. Oh, I have a bird right here. I'll run it. I have a bird. I'll run a bird next. I am <laughs> sometimes. JoJo in the lead. You got it. Great buy on that one. Okay, I got birds. Ask for birds and you shall receive. Birds. Look at them. Really pretty silver and brass tone. There's the back. Birdie birdies. We'll run them at five for 15 seconds. I don't see any other birds. I just happen to see those birds. Lori in the lead. So next one looks like it's amethyst. Hmm. Poodle. Silver tone with brass. Sorry, I'm like in La La Land. I was looking at the amethyst coming up next. That happens occasionally. So this one, and this is how the bottom's supposed to be. It's not broke off. I did just check. But it is missing two tea tiny rhinestones on the bottom. Really pretty. Looks like maybe garnet too. This one's really, really pretty. There's the back. These are faceted as well. Red stones. This one, we will start at five for 15 seconds. I don't see any red. I see a fabulous. Oh, I do see some red. Hold on. Oh, I found the red one. I got red. Kathleen in the lead. Kathleen, you got it. It's just a matter of luck if I can grab what you're asking for because they're all shoved in a bag. Look at this red one. Ooh, and this one has a bale to be a pendant. All right, $5, 15 seconds. Poodle in the lead. I got black next. Pop tart art is winning. What is this one? Miss Lynn in the lead. Yes, it's very pretty. This would be perfect for Christmas. Pop tart art in the lead. Miss Lynn is winning. Lynn. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I don't know what this is made of. It's like, it feels like some kind of resin or something. It's pretty cool, though. It's almost like a big rose or gardenia. We'll start it at five for 15 seconds. I'm going to do a black one next that is quite fantastic. A black brooch, black stones. Three, two, one. All right, let's do black. Hold on, let me fasten it before it pokes me. Okay, look at how amazing this one is. It is double layer, it is pronged, and it is open backs on those front ones. Beautiful, beautiful brooch. We're going to start it at five. This one might be a morning brooch for 15 seconds. Laura in the lead.
Now, Miss Lynn. Miss Lynn in the lead. Miss Lynn in the lead. Now classic car girl. A16 bird brooch from the other day in your tray stamped. I don't, all I see, oh, wait, 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 hold on. You got it, Classic Car Girl, A16. Hold on. I had to think of where I put them. I got it. The Sterling and Marcus height. Yeah, this one is gorgeous. Sterling and Marcusite. Uh, yes, Miss Laura, it is all combined. So after you buy one, you should see the combined shipping. Normally, you'll get it free on a couple of pieces. Um, and then it'll be like a quarter or 50 cents. So this one's Sterling and Marcusite. It is, uh, it is hallmarked and stamped. And we will start it at 20 for 15 seconds. So this is a Sterling silver piece. Miss Lori in the lead. Yeah, any of those catalog number ones, just tell me if you want me to run them. Those are all sterling pieces. Or if you want to see something else sterling, let me know. Miss Lori, you got it. Thank you, thank you. If not, we've switched over to brooches. I do have um, I do have several Juliana pieces up here. Um, I've got more Juliana here as well. These um are different starting bids. There's another Juliana. All right. This one is missing a couple of tea tiny blue. Three, it looks like. Really, really pretty. There's the back. Oh, where's my ring thing? The pink one, Karen. This, wait. This one I could start at 75. It is, I think both of these are missing the pen. They need a pen replaced. The Juliana is 75. And this Juliana, I could start at 50. The red, yeah, the red, white, and blue Juliana Maltese cross is gorgeous. That's a $75 start. That one does have its pen. 75 on that one. The square one, okay. All right, this one, we will start as soon as I can find it at, I, I don't think Aunt Roberta put it in. So this one will start at 50 for 15 seconds. Hello, Bruni. Yes, there are two of them. I'll show you. Karen in the lead. One of them is a set with earrings and one is just a brooch. You got it, Miss Karen. Thank you. So this one is a $75 start. You're welcome. These, It's a Juliana. And then I've also got this sucker that's absolutely amazing. And this one has the matching earrings. This one is a $150 start, and then the other one is, um, uh, I could, it's a $75 start on this one. Yeah, they are, this one is spectacular, and so is that Maltese cross. Beautiful work on those. All right, let's pull out another. Oh, did I run this? I got distracted. All right, this one we are going to start at 5 for 15 seconds. I think I got distracted. 
38. That is the number I'm on. So we are good to go. And then K in the lead. What are we doing next? Oh, this one is pretty. And then K, you got it. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this one. Very, very art deco with the baguettes. Oh, that sounds beautiful, though, Bruni. Yeah, I will say if they're marked. Most of these in the bag aren't marked. That's why I'm okay starting them at five, even though there's some amazing ones. All right, this one will start at five for 15 seconds. There are some name, though, in here that we will get to. Penny in the lead. Actually, I think it's this one. Yeah, this next one is a sign one. Penny in the lead, now Reocean State. Reocean State, three, two. You got it. Thank you. Thank you. So, this next one is a signed Sarah Coventry. I have some Monet's in here, too, I think. Look at this. I love the layering of the petals and the brush gold on top and smooth on the bottom. There is your Sarah Coventry. This one's in excellent condition. And this one will start at five for 15 seconds. This next one is marked, but I can't read it. I read it earlier. Maybe my eyes are too tired now. Oh, it's a Roman. Um, <clears throat> I think the glow stuff sold, Bruni. I did have some, but it sold. Cactus Blossom. You got it. We had an amazing, um, this weekend, antique rock crystal and glowing uranium glass. Uh, it was, like, so amazing. This is a Roman. Look at this one with the enamel and the rhinestones. This one... Oh, yeah, the, the ring does, but it's lucite. I think, Br Bruni, you like glass stuff, right? This one, we're going to start at 5 for 15 seconds. And then K in the lead. <laughs> Unfortunately for your pocket. And then K, great buy on that one. This next one has some value, um, I will tell you. This one is a sign Kramer. It is in excellent condition. There's your Kramer. Look at this. Signed Kramer, guys. Excellent condition. This one has some value. We're going to start it at 5 for 15 seconds. Ooh, this one's really old. I have a really, really old one next. Yeah, this is a beautiful one, and it is a sign Kramer. This next one, I think, is brass and glass. It needs a bath, but it's very old, and it's nice. Miss Brenda in the lead. Now Miss Sharon, now Miss Brenda. Glass and brass and needs a bath. Yep. <laughs> Sharon and lead. And takes it. Thank you so much. It's very old though. Look at it. It's like a little moon. It's brass and glass. Um, I think the lowest sterling starts I have is Miss is ten dollars, Miss Lori. And it's mostly rings and little pendants, um, a couple of necklaces. All right, brass glass and needs about five dollars fifteen seconds. Look at that um, closure though. This one's really old, guys. It's a very old one. I'll show you. You want me to show you the ten dollar trays again, Miss Lori? I can. Sue Amy in the lead. Yeah, I'll show you. Because I got them in trays by price because Aunt Roberta was going to catalog for me, but she didn't have time. Sue Amy, great buy. All right, let's look at the $10 start, Sterling. Let's see. That's 15 
That's 15. Okay, so I have two trays with $10 start on Sterling. So I will go through here and show you. This one is a Sterling and Gold Vermeil. You're so welcome, Miss Sue. Thank you. Yay! Well, I love this one. If nobody buys it tonight, I might just get used to it and keep it. Okay, that one's sterling and gold vermeil. I've got the hippopotamus, little brooch. I've got the puzzle rings. Oh, you're fine, Miss Lori. Or I don't, they're called something, but they roll. They're rolling rings. That one I could start at 10. All of these are 10. So just tell me if you see something you want me to run. Sterling and Marcosite half inch hoops. Pierced. Sterling, the Marcosite. Okay. Ah. Oh. They're so tee weeny. They're so cute. All right. Sterling and Marcosite. We will run them at 10 for 15 seconds. Uh, I'll size it, classic car girl. I want seven, but I'm going to, I'll check. Miss Lori in the lead. And takes it. These. I think most of this stuff is. These are stamped. I think most of this stuff is stamped. I'd say like 90% of it's stamped. Those, those last ones were. Okay, the Rolly puzzle rings are, oh, size six. Size six. This could not be sized, not, not easily. Yeah, too small for me to. Um, these are sterling and rhinestone. These are three quarter inch hoops. I've got the Sterling, and all of these are $10 starts. So if you guys see something you like, let me know. Sterling and Ruby cufflinks. Those are marked. Sterling, the, the Sterling and Ruby cufflinks. Good. We're, we're on it. All right. We're going to start them at 10 for 15 seconds. I'm all about cost averaging, too. <laughs> Lori and Lee. Three, two. You got them. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hold on. Let me oh. situate. These are vintage sterling and abalone screwbacks. They are signed. There's your mark. Run. All right. Let me, I, I know what I'm going to do. Hold on. I'm going to edit this since we're back on this. So it'll be easier to do 10. Okay. We're going to start it at 10 for 15 seconds. Vintage Sterling and Abalone Screwbacks. Um, I believe these are Taxco. Yeah, Taxco. Ster they say Sterling Taxco uh, PI or FI is the designer. Lori in the lead. You got them. Whoa. Okay. Oh, I showed you those. These are cool. Look at these Sterling cufflinks. These are marked as well. These say. Sterling 925, made in Mexico. I don't know. I don't know what the heck. Oh, he's got his bow. He's got his bow. Look, he's a hunter. He's got his bow. All right, we'll start him at 10 for 15 seconds. Yep, shooting a bow. I had to, like, angle it the right way to see the bow. Miss Lori in the lead.
Thank you, thank you. Um, what is this? Trying to see if they're marked. These are marked on the post. These are little half inch sterling and CZ earrings. The backs are also marked sterling. And then sterling and Jasper vintage screw backs. These are marked sterling. All right, we'll start them. Um, ah, I got to get a good hold of them. 10 for 15 seconds. Miss Lori in the lead. Miss Lori is winning. And you got them. Thank you, thank you. Let's see what else we got in this tray. Sterling and Swarovski crystals. These are gorgeous like navy blue. What's up, Sonny? These are, this is size six. Sterling and, ah, I'm throwing things. Swarovski crystals. I've got a Sterling solitaire. That's this one, I think, Lori. Isn't this one? Um, this one looks, hold on, Sunny. Oh, look, I'm so good. Sunny, this is pretty. This is a size nine. It's a uh, blue topaz amethyst and peridot, size nine. This one's really pretty. Look at me grabbing the first one. Ha, ah, look at me go. The blue crystals, got it. Okay, and then I'll run that one. This one's a size six. The blue Swarovski crystals, sterling, size six at 10 for 15 seconds. And then I'll run that next one. Sometimes, Sunny, sometimes. Other times, my eyeball's off. Clear stone rings. I have a Swarovski clear stone. Rhonda in the lead. This is Swarovski, and I have a clear Swarovski crystal one, too. Rhonda is winning. And takes it. Thank you, thank you. Let's run this one. I picked up two rings under me. Oh, these two? I'll show you them. Let me run this one real quick for them, the size nine. This one is fantastic. Size nine. Nine. Let's do it that way. Uh, blue topaz, peridot, and amethyst. We'll start it at 10 for 15 seconds. Size nine. Lori in the lead. Pop-Tart Art is winning. Sunny, when you get done bidding, you have to tell me what kind of stuff you're going to... Oh, I... Never mind. Cancel that statement. I saved myself. I behaved. Never mind. Sally is winning. Bad cat. Now, Sunny... <laughs> I almost did it. I would have been in big trouble, mister. Oh, I'm so happy you're here, Miss Rhonda. Thank you for hanging out with us. Miss Sally in the lead and takes it. All right, let's look at these two under me that you guys were asking about. So the first one I think is the one I showed. It's, it's kind of cloudy. Not going to lie. I would start it at five if somebody wanted it because that's pretty dang cloudy. This one is a size five and a half, and it is a Panetta. Panetta Sterling, size five and a half, Panetta Sterling. I would start it at five. And then the other one is this one. See, that's much clearer. Sterling, it is stamped. This one is a size 
nine and a half. Size nine and a half. That one in stone is much better. I, I will. I'll message you now. I don't know. I don't know. It, it's, I mean, it's probably a rhinestone that's just like, no, I don't think it's mother of pearl. Like, it's just a not clear. I feel like it probably just needs a dang bath. Okay. There's dust all in there. It probably just needs a bath. It's probably the dust like illuminating up. I don't know. This one's a nine and a half. Baguettes. Little baguette stones. Inlaid. Okay. I'm going to drop it down to five. We'll run it at five for 15 seconds. Miss Patty in the lead. Sunny, I just replied to your like status thing because that was the easiest thing. Miss Patty, three, two. You got it. Thank you. Thank you. Let me get us another bin. Okay. $10 start sterling. Um, not in here that I see. I've got the donkeys. I sent you a thing on Instagram, Sonny. I've got sterling donkey cufflinks. These are $10 start. This is a really, really pretty ring. It's almost like a wave. I will run them. Um, if you tell me you want one, Miss Rhonda, I will run it. Um, do you want me to tell you the starts on them again? The size on the wave. The wave is a seven and a half. Oh, yeah, I'll run it right now. I can run it. Yeah, that's my favorite. Ah, now I lost my ring sizer. There's so much stuff on the floor. All right, this is a Juliana, guys. Red, white, and blue Maltese cross. And this one, we are going to start at $75 for 15 seconds. It is absolutely amazing. Miss Rhonda in the lead. And I found somebody that has a bunch of Juliana. I have to save my pennies, though. Great buy, Miss Rhonda. Thank you, ma'am. Beautiful, beautiful buy. Okay. Were there any others, Miss Rhonda, that you wanted run of the Julianas? I have this set with the earrings. I have the pink. Okie dokie. Here's the, this is the most stunning. I don't know. The color on that red and blue, though, is pretty amazing. Did you see the mermaid? The mermaid is fantastic. Okay. Let's see what else for $10. They are not marked. No Juliana pieces marked. And I'm not overly... Um, I know some things to look for, but not all. So what I have done is buy from people who have been doing jewelry for 30 plus years that know way more than me. And that have confirmed they are Juliana's. That's what I'm going to have to do till I get used to these things. Because I haven't dealt with many Juliana. Um, but I am trying to add them into my inventory. This one. Oh, look at this little citrine and marcasite. This is a $10 start. Now, hold on. I got to get my ring sizer. I threw across the room. Ah, now I threw it again. Oh, that's weird. Send me a message so you'll be at the top, Sonny. And then I'll just reply. 
The citrine and marcasite. Oh, it's a size nine, guys. The citrine and marcasite is a size nine. $10 start. Let's run this one at 10 for 15 seconds. It is going citrine, marcasite, and sterling. Yes, stamped. Yes, it is stamped. 925. Pop Tart Art in the lead. Now, Miss Lori. Why are you so far down on my list, Sonny? See, that means we've not talked enough. You got it, Miss Lori. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Oh, do you guys want me to run the clear Swarovski crystals? Size six. Sterling and Swarovski. Okay. All right. We'll run it at 10 for 15 seconds. It says you see it, Sunny. I see it says seen. Pop Tart Art in the lead. Now Maybell. Now Pop Tart Art. Pop Tart Art is winning. Three, two. You got it. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see what else. Oh, the gorgeous inlaid blue glass. Look at that setting. This one is a size eight. The blue inlaid glass. I love the setting. Yeah, it's awesome. Size eight. I see Thailand and 925. It is stamped. Size 8. Let's see what else. I think... Oh, look. Holy Moses. Look at this citrine, guys. I surprised myself with my own jewelry that I've probably seen three times already. And I forget that fast. This one is stamped 925. It is size 7 and a quarter. Seven and a quarter. Pop Tart Art says run it. We'll run it at 10 for 15 seconds. I'll run the blue inlaid glass next. Yes, ma'am, Miss Rhonda. Lori in the lead. Pop Tart Art is winning. Purple, purple stone ring. This one. <coughs> Pop Tart Art. Three, two. You got it. Thank you. Thank you. If you guys wonder why I'm running so long, I've been on three hours now. It's because my husband and Brad are not here <laughs> and Brooke is not here. I'm home by myself. So let me show you the purple ring real quick. It's, ooh, it's not purple. This is moss. Oh, this is moss agate. It is better. I agree. Oh, but it's tea tiny. Six and a half. That is amazing, Moss Agate. It could be size, though, because it's sterling. It's really thin, though. You probably could only... Okay, I'll run it after this one. Let me run this one. Oh, my husband and Brad. Oh, yeah, I have two husbands now. <laughs> size eight inlaid glass and sterling silver. It is marked Thailand. We're going to start it at 10. For 15 seconds. I met my husband in Dalton. <laughs> Miss Rhonda in the lead. Nobody's home. It's so quiet here. It's like never this quiet. It's so quiet. <laughs> Miss Rhonda in the lead. I know. Like I can I don't know if you guys can hear it. Like I can hear the fish tank filter running. I'll be quiet for a minute and see if you can hear it. Do you hear the water running? Aw. I was hoping you could. Miss Rhonda in the lead. And Sherry hears it. Takes it. Oh, 
<laughs> All right, let's run this amazing moss agate. Sterling silver moss agate, size six and a half, I believe is what it was. Yep, six and a half moss agate. Beautiful baguettes on the side there too. We'll start it at 10 for 15 seconds. Pop-Tart art, now Miss Kathleen. I, I know, I'm sorry. Miss Lori in the lead. Three, two. You got it. Thank you, thank you. Two more in this tray. I have one more $10 tray. I've got, this is a uh, blue, it might be. I think it's glass. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll show you everything again. Yeah, we can go through all the sterling again. So this is a blue glass sterling. It's adjustable, guys. This one is marked. It is sterling and it is adjustable. So I'm gonna run it at 10 for 15 seconds. Sterling silver marked and adjustable. This will fit everybody. It is marked. Beautiful glass ring. Do, do, do. Nobody. Okay. What about the glowy, glowy? This is loose light, glowy, glowy, and sterling silver with baguettes on the side. This is so cool. This is the fortune telling ring. It is teeny tiny. It's a size five. It does glow. Does anybody want this one run? Size five. Do, do, do. And then I'll just go back through the trays. There is stuff in there that's cataloged too, guys. Take a peek at the catalog. Aunt Roberta did get to catalog some stuff. Oh! Okay, let's look. go through all the sterling again. Oh, wait. One more $10 tray. Hold on. We're going to go through it again because I know some of you just got here. Okay. This is another $10 tray. So I've got... This almost looks like a wave, or maybe it's a bear. I don't know what it is. It's inlaid turquoise chips on sterling. I've got this cross is marked. It's got a pearl in, but this is actually interchangeable. That's a sterling pendant. I've got the really cool, um, like, rough stamped sterling bangle. The kitty cat with the blue eyes pendant. These are all $10 starts. The bangle. Bangle, bangle. I'm like, how the heck? Hold on. Oh, I'll bring the, break out the bracelet thing. All right. We're on the bangle at 10 for 15 seconds. Pop tart art in the lead. Now, Miss Lori. Miss Lori, you got it. Thank you, thank you. So, this is a, it's actually new. It's a sterling silver with like a little dog tag to be engraved. It is blank, so you could get it engraved. It is brand new. Sterling silver chain and the plate. All of these are $10 starts. There's a little heart diamond cut necklace with rhinestones. It also has a sterling chain. Oh, the little tea tiny kitty cat with the marcasite, but it is missing three stones. I could start the little sterling kitty cat at five since it's missing stones. It is stamped. But it's missing three. Yeah, I can show A14. I can, I can. Do, do, do. 
A14, this is a gorgeous bangle. Look at this one. Sterling silver bangle. This is A14. Um, this is a Seda Sterling. Seda Sterling, it is signed. It's a Seda. You want me to run it, Classic Car Girl? Are you good? Um, let me see. What do we have it at? Yeah, at 10. I got it at 10. S-E-T-A. It's a jewelry maker. S-E-T-A. Seda Sterling. All right. We will run this one at 10 for 15 seconds. Yeah, so if there's anything in the catalog, just simply let me know. Lori B in the lead. Because Aunt Roberta started cataloging. And then she could not finish because she had to get into um, Thanksgiving. Thank you, Classic Car Girl. Okay. That, okay, this is a $20 start tray, guys. So, 20, oh, this was hiding. Okay, so just tell me, let me edit this. I'm going to edit. These will be um, $20 starts on these. Uh, let me edit it. So, it will go faster. Save. Okay. So just tell me if you want to run any. These are $20 sterling starts. <laughs> this is sterling marcasite and amethyst. And it is a little locket. It is signed. And again, these are $20 starts. So if there's anything you see, let me know. Look at the Star of David with opal. It is stamped. Run the amethyst thing. Lori's like, it's late. Just run the thing. All right, we'll start at 20 for 15 seconds. I better plug my phone in. I've almost killed it. No, you're fine. You're fine. Multitasking at its finest, right? Okay, the phone is plugged in. Hopefully, I didn't let it get too low. You got it, Miss Lori. So if I disappear, you know why. Okay, and then we've got the Sterling and Opal Star of David. I dropped the leaf to 20 from a $40 start. Sterling and Mother of Pearl. This is a fantastic piece with a lot of Sterling on it. There's that one. I've got the Mayan calendar. I've got two of them. I've got this design, and they are marked. And then I've got this design. Ooh. What else? Oh, the antique mother and child painting with sterling and turquoise. This one's actually 800 silver. This is an old one. The cross. Abalone. Did I say mother of pearl? It's abalone. I might have said, did I say mother of pearl? It's abalone. There's the cross. That one is signed. Oh, look at this beautiful rope bracelet. $20 start. This is a very thick, heavy bracelet. Nice sterling bracelet. Um, the charm bracelet, because I'm crazy. These you could buff and rewrite, or you could just sell them for scrap, and it is on a sterling bracelet. Um, oh, the jade and marcasite. This one. Let's see. That's the $20 tray. $15 tray. The jade is a small one. It because it's old. It's a uh, five and three quarters. Is 
No, nothing missing. They did have small fingers back then, I know. This one could be sized up, though, probably to like a 7 or an 8. No missing Miss Lori on this one. It is marked Trish, T-R-I-S-H, and Sterling. Trish and Sterling are the marks on this one. It says Trish. I'm assuming that's who made it. And Sterling. You guys want to run this one? Yes. Okay. We'll run it at 20 for 15 seconds. Uh-oh. Brad and Dalton are home. We'll see what happens. I might have to end my charade sales. Thank you, Miss Lori. They're going to be like, how are you still live? I know, right? The dogs are going crazy. They're like, daddy's home. All right. This is $15 start tray. This is the whale tail on a square sterling chain. I've got the drop. So these are all 15 Most of these are necklaces with pendants. I've got the heart. I've got the key to my heart one. These are all sterling. I've got this little heart locket. This is an old one. It has a picture in it, but you could take it out because it obviously is messed up. Oh, this one's pretty. This one, I think the pendant is not sterling, but the chain is. Um, I've got the Sterling Puppy Heart Locket. Um, oh, I have another of these. We sold one earlier of the Triple Strand Sterling. This one's a longer one, though. This one's like a 20-inch. The Triple Strand Sterling. The pink. Yes. Isn't it cool, Mabel? So Brad's home. Hi. I don't know. It's just a pendant. I have no clue, but it's cool. It does kind of look like a spaceship. Brooke was there? Apparently Dalton and Brad left Brooke at Aunt Louise's. Someone with bouffant hair. Yeah, their little wig. <laughs> what else? Okay. One more tray of $15. These are amazing. I'm surprised nobody wanted to do this one. Did you win it cards? They want to know. No. no. Look at this one. These are real pearls and amethyst. These are post earrings. Okay, let me switch to 15 because this whole tray is 15. Let me switch it so it'll be easier. Who won? Sabrina. His sister won. Sabrina. All right, this one. We will start these, and these, um, I believe they are amber, and they are marked 925FP. The post is bent, but it'll straighten back up. I believe they're amber, amethyst, and pearl. All right, we will start these at 15 for 15. Oh, they start at 20. Miss Brenda, I'm sorry. Now I have to find you something. Dagummit. Maybe pink ice on top. Yeah. Oh, now they went up. So now we're okay. Miss Brenda is winning. Now Miss Arlette. These are really cool. They're little seed bead pearls. Dalton, what is that crazy noise? 
Thank you, Arlette. I appreciate it. It sounds like it's a chomping game. I've got the inlay. This one I could drop to 10. It's missing that stone. Chasing Sunset said, hi, Dalton. I've got the little hippo set with the hippo earrings and the hippo necklace. I think I have the hippo brooch, too. I could probably find it. I could start the whole set at 30. It's earrings, necklace, sterling chain, and brooch. That'd be cute if you know somebody that likes hippos. All right, $15 start. I've got this gorgeous one. This one's a smaller one. Um, I've got lots of butterflies. All these butterflies are all sterling and $15 start. And I've got multiple sizes. So I could check if you need a certain size. Oh, I have one more of the Swarovski crystals, guys. I bet it's a size six too. Yeah, size six. Which, um... What do you mean run plenty? I'm going to run this one. Red Swarovski crystal side six. And I'll run it. Let me make sure this dang thing's going to start at the right price. At 15 for 15 seconds. Um, Miss Anne, which size of butterfly ring do you need? And I'll size them. Because I have multiple sizes. Hopefully I'll have the size you need. Pop-Tart art in the lead. Let me look. I feel like there might be. I'm going to look. So, 7, 8, or 10. Okay, I'll, we're going to size them. Pop-Tart art in the lead. Dalton, you aren't going to come say hi to Mommy? Thank you. Yes, I would like a hug and a kiss. You did leave me for so long. Yeah. Come give I me just loving. I wanted to play with Super long. Yeah, no, you could go play with your cousins. I'm glad you got to have fun. Well, I love you. Abigail was just playing on her phone. Oh, Abigail wouldn't play with y'all? Yeah. Alright, let's see. We need seven, eight. Here's a seven. Right out of seven. Let's run the seven. And then I'm going to look for an eight and ten. We'll run the seven at 15 for 15 seconds. Size seven. These are so pretty on. <laughs> I try. <laughs> Size seven. Bye in the lead. And then I'll look for an eight and a 10. I think I might have a 10, but I think that's the biggest. But I swear I had one unless we sold it. Bye, Par. Thank you so much. First purchase. I appreciate you. Let's see. Okay, let's look for an 8 and a 10 now. That's another 7. That's a T-tiny. That's a 5. Oh, a 9. There's a 9. Hold on, I'm feeling. That one's another T-tiny. Yeah, like, uh, these are so gorgeous. Look at them. I tried it on. They're all sterling. Like, aren't they so pretty? I think it should go the other way. Yeah, they are gorgeous on. That's why they had a bunch. It was, like, the sterling by the weight, and I bought, like, every single one I could find because I love them. That's another seven. Oh, we might be failing out on the eight and nine. That's another. I have a lot of sevens. Last one. Yep. Nope. So the biggest I have is nine and I don't have an eight. I have a nine. Do you guys want me to run the nine or no? That one's pretty. Look at it. It almost would work like for a middle one. Okay, let's look. So I only have, this is the last tray. So this is a Carolyn Pollock, um, Marcus, or Marcusite, 
malachite, lapis lazuli, coral, and turquoise. This is a $50 start. This is Carolyn Pollock Relios. It is signed. $50 start. And then I have this inlaid Zuni for a $40 start. This one's a size 9. I bought it for me, but I'm not really feeling it. And then I found this one. So This one is available for a $100 start. This is Old Pawn Navajo. That one's a $40 start, size 9. Do you guys, are you guys done or do you want me to show some more brooches? Um, I've still got a lot of brooches. If you want to see more brooches for $5 starts, you tell me. I Dalton's out there watching his phone being quiet, so I'm fine to keep on running if you guys want to see more brooches. Or are you done? This, I think, is a Sarah Coventry. Yeah, it is. Sarah Coventry. This one I could run at $2. It needs the pen replaced. So I'll show you some of these and you can tell me if you see something you want run. Look, the end of a spoon. Isn't this a cool friggin' brooch? Repurposed vintage silverware. I think this is so cool. Um, This one, Pop-Tart Art. It's beautiful. It's a size. Ooh, it's little. It's a five. It's a little tea tiny. It is gorgeous, though. It'll go to that five. I'm not going to push it. Okay. So this one, let's see. Oh, it's going to go at what it's going to go at. It should go at 15. 15 for 15 seconds. It did. Yay. Pop-Tart art in the lead. And then I'll keep laying out brooches. And you guys can tell me if you see some you like. Pop-Tart art in the lead. Good night, classic car girl. Um, hold on. I might have, I have a new bag of sterling that came in that I don't have separated. Um, hold on. Let me see if there's any rings in here. Oh, I do. I have a turquoise ring in here. Hold on. This isn't separated by like what it is. Holy Moses. This is an adjustable sterling turquoise. It's a tax go, guys. Adjust whoa. Adjustable sterling sign tax go. That's a nice one. And it'll fit everybody. I could start it at 15. That could use a bath. You want me to run it or are you good? Let me see what else is in here. Run. Okay. All right. Put it back. All right. 15 for... Oh, it went for five. <laughs> Save me. Bad cat. I never know when it's going to do. Like, I can't tell. You're bidding on this one, not mine. Well, it's not mine, but I might keep it. <laughs> Lori in the lead. And now our let. Lori is winning. And takes it. Thank you, thank you. Let's see if there's any other rings in this bag. I know it... <laughs> I just let it go. I don't like. So this is my new bag of sterling that has like you could stab somebody with this letter opener. I should quit saying that. Whatnot's going to kick me off. Oh, this is an amazing vintage tax code bracelet. Look at this one. Um. Oh, I showed this one earlier. This is fantastic. I think I said 30, but I would drop it down to 25. Look at this. It is a size, hold on, I'll look, six, and it is stamped. Size six, and it is stamped. Look, it won't even, it has to go on my pinky if I'm going to put it on a finger. Size six, and it is stamped. Stamped. 
I don't even remember what I said. 25 instead of 30. I think that's what I said. Needs a bath. They all need a bath. What else is in here? I'm looking for rings. I don't think I got a ton of rings in this one. Oh, here's a ring. Run it. This is amazing, Pop Tart Art. If this will fit you, this is fantastic. All right, we will start this one at 25 for 15 seconds. Then I see another ring. I just saw it. Oh, there it is. Ooh, guys, it's a vintage. Um, it's an old pawn Navajo ring. I know, I love it. I might, I might miss Kathleen. <laughs> Pop tart art in the lead. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. I know I put it on and I was like, oh, I like that. It came with the um the bolo that we sold earlier. Oh, here's the this is a tea tiny baby one. It's a size five. Look at this old pawn Navajo turquoise and opal i don't even know if that'll fit on my dang it's a size five thank you i might i yeah i like it uh i could start it at 20 libra gal this one the old pawn one i could start at 20 run okay we will start that one at 20 for 15 seconds i don't know where i got the energy I, I don't think i've ever it's a size five wearing the world size five i have fat fingers libra gal in the lead three two you got it thank you thank you let's see if there's any more rings in here um Oh, look at how cool. How cool is that? That's like super mid-century modern. That one is cool. What size is that? This is size 8. Who's rating me? Who's rating me? This is size 8. Let's do a giveaway. We'll do a giveaway. Thank you. Oh, I got to go on my other phone. Hold on. Thank you for the raid. Good gems for you. We appreciate you. Let's do a giveaway. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to pin it. But it's not working on my iPhone. I have to go to my Android because whatnot's being a pain in my butt tonight, apparently. Let's do a giveaway. And I'm like some crazy person that's been live for like hours. Oh, you changed your name, you ding dong. Thank you, Seth. I forgot you changed your name. All right, let's do a giveaway. Let's find something to give away. There's something in this bag. Seth, look at some of these amazing. No, you got to look at the stuff. Look at this Navajo letter opener. And this is a signed Kachina letter opener. Navajo, Ray Palermo. Yeah, some good stuff. Okay, let's find something to give away. Have a good night. Thank you for rating me. I appreciate you. Yep, you too, my friend. Um, oh, that's awesome. I so love Nambaho stuff. I'm going to find something to give away. What did I do with the other ring? Now I lost it. Um... We gave away a bracelet earlier. Look at these gorgeous bracelets. Uh, for what, Isaac? For how much for what? I'm trying to find something to give away. I give away. Let's give away this. 
<laughs> I know, I know, right? The swirl ring. The where did it this one or the one I can't figure out what the heck I did with? This is what we're giving away. What's up, Courtney? Um, the Navajo, the Roadrunner, these are solid sterling silver. This one I could start at 50. I gotta find what did I do with the ring? You guys have been watching me. Where did I put it? Is it back in the bag? Oh, there it is. Uh, I can start at 20. I start this one at 15, this one at 20. Um, the Roadrunner, and it is signed, uh, solid sterling silver. I could start at 50. And then the Ray Palermo uh, Kachina letter opener, I could start at 100. This ring that I absolutely love, I could start at 100. This is Old Pawn Navajo. Um, this letter opener that will open your mail. I could start at 50. This has four signatures. This one might be worth quite a bit of money. Let's start that one at 50. Um, it is not. This one is not marked, but it is definitely sterling. And the other swirl one, hold on, I'm checking. I think these are both artisan pieces. No, neither are marked, Lori. Neither one of these are marked. What did I... What am I giving away? Where did it go? Oh. All right. Oh, the bird. Uh, let me size them. This one. This one's a size eight. I think it's kind of adjustable because it'll fit. It'll fit a seven to an eight. And then this one is a six, but it's kind of adjustable too. But I wouldn't go bigger than a six. And this is what we're giving away. This one I could start at 10. Uh, yeah, I'll start them both at 10 if you want. I'll start them both at 10, like each, not for both. All right. Let's pick a winner for this bird. Thank you again, Seth, for the raid. I don't know if he's here still. Aaron wins the bird. Yay, Aaron. Okay, let's run the rings. We'll just run them at 10 bucks. Um, auction. This one is a size 7 to 8. It will be adjustable. We will start it. I'm going to drop it down to 10 for 15 seconds to try and help Lori's average buy cost. You're welcome, Erin. Then I'm going to show you guys one that if you don't want it, then I will keep it. Miss Lori in the lead. Now Chelsea. Lori is winning. Now you got free shipping, Erin. Now you got to buy something. That's the rule. Not really, but I mean, I can try. Lori! You got it. Thank you, thank you. All right. Let's start this one at 10, and then I'm going to show you. This one is a size 6 to 7. And this one, we will start at 10 for 15 seconds and it is going and then I'm going to show you and if you don't take it I'm taking it that's the rule I don't have either on oh it's free after she wins a giveaway <laughs> it's free on me okay $30. This is a 20 inch sterling chain and a little otter with a pearl. It is a real pearl. $30 start. Isn't he cute? Nobody wants him. I don't mind at all because I will probably keep him. Yeah, I think I'm going to, I might keep this too. He, oh, and he's a brooch and a pendant. I think he is stamped on his tail there, but it's hard to read. He is an otter. 
He is an otter. Isn't he cute? He is an otter with a pearl. He's so friggin' cute. Is the chain stamped? Let me look. Yes, chain is stamped. All right. You guys said I cannot keep the otter, and that is fine. I do not need the otter. All right. <laughs> All right. We will start him at $30 for 15 seconds. Jojo in the lead. I love otters. If you guys do not, I love all animals. If you know me, you probably know that. Marsha in the lead. 20 inch sterling stamp chain. Marsha takes him. Thank you, Marsha. He is so cute. Yeah, I've only seen a few otters in the wild. What else is in here? Oh, we have the sterling thimbles. I'll drop the sterling thimbles down, even the Native American ones, to $10 starts. Aaron. <clears throat> Where'd they go? We didn't sell them. Oh, there they are. I love otters. They are so cool to see. $10 start. Navajo. This one's probably a Zuni. Sterling thimbles. $10. I'll drop them. I had them at $20. Ta-da! $10. Does anybody want any of these? Any mini miny mo? Aaron's not falling for my trap. What else do I got in here? I got this big hunk of sterling. It's on a cord. Fine, Aaron. Oh, look at this one with turquoise and malachite. This is an older one. It is stamped. This one's probably old Taxco. It's cool. I like the distressed look on that. Oh, yeah, they can be mean little suckers. Oh, this one is really pretty. This is a sterling uh, necklace, but it's missing. Um, starting bit on this one, I could do 15. Ah, I dropped a sterling bracelet. Run. Okay, we'll start it at 15 for 15 seconds. I normally am like a crazy runner, and tonight I'm just like, yeah. Like, you guys can tell me if you want me to run it. This is totally opposite what I normally do. If you know, normally I'm running every 15 seconds. Yeah, no, there's a lot of higher price, like the $50 and $100 ones. So, um, I'm just letting people tell me. Libra go. That one is not. The thimble that is my favorite. The thimble that is my favorite is the Zuni one. This one is my favorite. Uh, so the starting bid on the letter openers, this one is 50. They are all solid sterling. 50, this one's actually got like four signatures on it. And then um, the signed Don Palermo is 100. Also all sterling silver with... Um, turquoise and the roadrunner i would start at 50 it is also solid sterling with turquoise so 50 50 and 100 for starting bids on those oh yay i'm glad you like it miss dana all right i said i'd drop it to 10 we'll drop it to 10 for 15 seconds yeah i've kind of changed up how i'm doing my whatnot um I don't know. We're just doing whatever. I think if I'm a little OCD about it and like running like crazy, it's been stressing me out. And this is like so much less stressful. Like I show you all the pretty things. And if you like the pretty things, you tell me and then we'll run it. Totally. I, I mean, for the last year, I've been running 100 items in two hours. And I don't know. It, it wasn't working well anymore. You got it, Miss Patty. Thank you. Thank you. 
Just like we used to catalog, and now we don't really catalog anymore. You're so welcome. It, yeah, I mean, it's crazy. I don't know what else is in here. Oh, look at... That's beautiful. It's like a double cross with a heart at the bottom. L.M. Sterling. That one's pretty. I could start this one at 10. Which bookmark? Which bookmark, Viva? I don't do it. Like, these are letter openers. This one's a Kachina. It's a letter opener. I mean, I guess you could use it for... I wouldn't use it for a bookmark because it's 3D. $100 on this one. This one is a signed Navajo artist, Don Palermo. $100 starting bid. Worth about... Th probably about $250 to $300. Solid sterling silver and absolutely gorgeous. If I use the letter opener, I would keep this one. Oh, guys, check this out. This is sterling silver artisan piece with a piece of um, peridot. Look at how raw sterling that one is. I also have um, Juliana's back here worth several hundred as well, if anybody's interested. We're changing it up, guys. We're moving on up. Oh, I have a Bakelite compact. Does anybody want this? I think it's Bakelite. Oh, no, maybe it's Lucite. I think I tested it and it didn't turn yellow. Look at this vintage compact. I think it's Lucite. Sorry. Lucite. $10 starting bid on this. The Peridot ring. Oh, and check out the mermaid, too. It's Don Palermo. I found him. Oh, Platero. You're right. Platero. <laughs> Platero. Don Platero. Thank you, Matt. The Peridot is a size 6. I could start it at 10. This is kind of cool how raw it is. It's almost mid-century modern, like, steampunk. Size six, we'll run it at 10 for 15 seconds. I'm trying to think. I think most of my like pendants are on necklaces, like as far as charms. Laura in the lead. You can, if I can find it. Yes, I have it right here. Laura is winning. Sorry, I'm out of focus. You got it, Laura. First purchase. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Here's the double cross. I've never seen anything, whoa, quite like this. It's L.M. Sterling. Double cross with the heart. And this one I could start at 10. All right. Ah, why are my hands slippery all of a sudden? I normally can keep it on them. All right. This one will start at 10 for 15 seconds. Viva in the lead. Courtney, are you still in here? Viva is winning. Are you just, are you mainly doing costume? Or are you doing sterling too? Viva. Lost Vintage. I wanted to sing Viva Las Vegas. Like, are you doing sterling or mainly costume? Ooh, guys. Oh, look at this. Look at that setting. It's drop setting. It's a flush. This one is stamped. And is size seven, stamp size seven. I could start it at 10. Yeah, so Courtney, I'm moving to basically, I'm going to do all sterling and more higher end once I clear out the costume I've got. It is CZ, yes. That is gorgeous. Size seven. 
Yeah, we're changing it up a little bit. Yeah, I'll run it for 10. We'll start it at 10 for 15 seconds. And then I might change it next week. I don't know. <laughs> That's my plan right now. <laughs> Pop-Tart art, art in the lead. Now Gammy. See, mine have not been, Courtney. Mine have fell over the last six weeks. But I've also sold 500 items a week for a year. So I think I burnt some people <laughs> out. So we're switching it up. We're stepping it up a notch. Miss Kathleen, you got it. Thank you, thank you. It's crazy. We've sold 27,000 items on whatnot in the last year. Like, how crazy is that? What else is in here? I opened this again to look for rings. Oh, check out this letter opener if you weren't in here earlier. Mother of Pearl. This one is, uh, it says 925 Fine Sterling. Carved Mother of Pearl letter opener. This is so friggin' cool. $30 starting bid on this one. Sterling and Carved Mother of Pearl. So cool. Oh, I was going to show you guys. Okay, I'll run it. So this one, we will run at 30 for 15 seconds. Yeah, but it doesn't, like, I can't make out letters. It's almost like a design more than letters. Yeah, this is a gorgeous piece. Yeah, I quit cataloging about a month ago. Um, tonight we tried it again, but she didn't get finished. So we um, have half catalog tonight. Thank you so much, Antiques on the Corner. I appreciate you. Um, this is the one I keep trying to get. No, it's pokey at the end. That would be a very dangerous spoon. It's, it's like carved to a point on one end. And then it has the thumb insert. Like where you hold it to open the letter. I'm like 90% sure. So this one is all sterling. And it is missing one. So I could start this at 10. Each little piece is all marked sterling. Well, you're missing one blue bead. This one is at 18 inch. And I could drop it. I'll, I'll start it at 10 since I'm missing a stone if anybody's interested in this one. I don't think I've showed this one yet tonight. Um, I've got the herringbone bracelet, 7 inch. This is all sterling I'm digging through right now, too. Oh, these earrings are so cool. Where's the other one? <laughs> I know they're both here. Yeah, this is my, my stepping it up, Courtney. This is some, yeah, I got, I've got i gotten some great lots here. This one just came in today that I'm digging through right now. I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Look at these. Yeah, I do have some abalone. I have some abalone earrings, I think, still. I don't think they sold. I'm going to look. Aren't these cool? Sterling silver drop. Good night, Miss Kathleen. These I could start at 10. And they are marked AV925. They are stamped. Okay. These we will run at 10 for 15 seconds. Miss Carla in the lead. I mean, I'm going to hunt for abalone. Carla, now Miss Lori. Oh, I have a giant abalone brooch. I'm going to show you. Sterling and abalone brooch. Jojo, you got them. Thank you, thank you. I took a I took a potty break. 
and did a giveaway. Look at this abalone, mother of pearl apple. Why do I keep saying that? Abalone sterling silver. This is a $20 start. This is a vintage tax go piece. This one I can't do under 20. That's under melt value. That's a lot of sterling silver on this one. This one I'd have to start at 20. I had it at 40 and dropped it down to 20. Let me see if I have... Um, maybe we sold, did we, I think we sold the earrings. I think we sold them. Oh, here's another ring, guys. I, you, maybe you did get them, Miss Lori. This is sterling with gold vermeil. It is stamped. It does match them. Yes, it does. Okay. We'll run it at 20 and then I'll show you guys this ring for 15 seconds. I think this ring is glass stones. Miss Lori in the lead. Miss Lori is winning. The ring is a size seven. You got it. Thank you. Thank you. Size seven, sterling silver, gold vermeil. It is. Let me make sure. Hold on before I. It is signed with a maker mark in 925. Oh, when you got the earrings? Oh my gosh, that's funny. You would have been like, what the heck? That one I had at like 40 and then I dropped it. I was like, whatever. This one's a size 7, glass stone, sterling with gold vermeil. It's kind of cool with the little... Um... I'm going to end up cutting myself on that dang thing. Oh, look at this bracelet. With the little tulips. Sterling silver with little tulips. This one is hallmarked. I could start this one at 10 if you guys wanted. That one's pretty... Yeah, this one is a seven. Um, I have a vintage sterling silver stick pin. This one's an older one. This one I could start at 10. Um, oh, here's a charm. Look, I have a um, sterling silver Gettysburg charm. That's a little vintage one. We just started at five. All right. I think I'm almost done. I'm tired, guys. I'm tired. Oh, this one needs repair. It's a tiny mother of pearl inlaid. This one looks like another uh, Native American piece, too. But it does need soldered. Needs repaired. Oh, I found a butterfly. Sterling butterfly. And it's an open one. So it's adjustable. Not stamped. I know, I know. I I'm I think I'm done. Let's let's do I agree with you. Let me find something and we'll do a giveaway. Unless so if you see if you have anything you want run, speak now or hold your peace for another day. I'm gonna give away another bird. Another bird. I know I've been running for four hours. I normally don't run more than two. Listen, whatnot. Why will you not show me my giveaways on? And then we'll do the brooches another day. Um, Giveaway three. Going. All right. So enter the giveaway. Come on, whatnot. Is it there? Come on. Why is what not being a pain in my butt? Hold on. Lori, which one? No, she said her wrist is too small. <laughs> yes, that one did sell, Doc Dog. Yeah, it did. All right, 
giveaway number four is going finally. Anything else? If you remember, just ask. Oh, look at that one. It's like a sterling filigree open. This one's a bow sterling and it's adjustable. So enter this giveaway. We'll go raid somebody. Thanks again to Seth. Good gems for you for the raid. I appreciate that very, very much. And if you're still here, I appreciate you as well. Let's see. All right. I'll give you guys about 30 more seconds. Go ahead. Get your shows in. Um, we, I have scheduled for Black Friday. I'm not 100% I'm going to go live on Black Friday because I feel like it's going to be hectic, but I might be brave. I don't know. Um, and see and do some more Sterling. I did not. No, I didn't. I ran it with a single earring. I'm going to go look in my chair where I was going through stuff, though, earlier and see if I can find it. All right, let's pick a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yes, have a great Thanksgiving tomorrow, guys. Be safe, please. Um, and we might be here. Oh, look, Dak Dog, you got the giveaway. Congratulations. Um, I might be here Black Friday. If not, I might um, reschedule it. I might, I might try it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, let's go. I do not know the seller, so I cannot be held responsible um, for what they say or do Ooh, they quit Ooh, they missed out on a good raid okay let's find somebody else hold on let me refresh so i don't go raid somebody that's not live i'm trying to find a smaller seller is what i'm trying to do oh here here's one with victorian that looks fun her name is witchy vintage we're gonna go raid witchy vintage I don't know her. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me. If you were here the whole four hours, you're amazing. Thank you so, so much. I will see you guys either Friday or Saturday, one or the other. Thank you guys. Thank you, Courtney. I appreciate it. I will see you guys all soon. 